Hey guys, I'm back with a whole nother video. I have so much exciting news for you guys. I'm excited about it. I'm sure you guys are going to be super excited about it. But yes, oh my gosh. So, anyway, many of you guys have or know my story um, that watched me. And if you guys don't know my story, then here's your opportunity to get the chance to know my story. Um, but yeah, I um <laughs> so excited. I'm so nervous, but super excited. Um, yeah, so whoo, here it goes. Are you guys ready? Are y'all ready? Cause I am ready, child. But yeah, I wrote a book. Oh my gosh, I wrote my own book, you guys. I actually wrote this. Like, I formatted everything myself. I wrote it. I did the cover. Yeah, I wrote a book. So, yeah. I'm so excited. So, I am going to be starting. Um, I think I'm going to do it every either. I got to pick the day. But I'm going to be doing a how to self-publish um, series on my channel. Because a lot of people are asking, like, how to write a book. How do you start writing a book? What's the steps and what do you need to do? So I'm going to be doing a how to self-publish series. So I'm super excited about it um, because I would like people to you know, write their story. I love reading autobiographies and I just love reading memoirs and everything about like people's life. I just like hearing what stories and things that people have went through because it's inspiring. Um, and it helps people that are, that are experiencing things. So yeah, this is my actual book. Oh my gosh. I am actually finished. It took me about, honestly, probably about a, a year and a half to write it, format it, um, publish it, and get everything set that needs to be done. So this is the book that I wrote. It's called Frozen in the Midst of Fire. Um, so I'm going to be talking about how to get titles or how to choose your titles. Um, and how to actually write a book and everything like that. So stay tuned for this series coming up. I'm so excited about it. And yeah, so if you guys would like my book, um, if you're in my local area, if you know me personally, you can get a signed copy from me. Also, you can email me. I'll put my email in the description box. And you can email me and you can purchase a book through me. Um, and you can have your book signed and autographed through me and I will deliver it to you or either put it in the mail for you. But yeah, you can definitely get your own copy signed. Um, if not, you can also check out Amazon. It's on Barnes and Nobles. It's through different libraries um, throughout different states, which is amazing. There, um, My book is like all over the place, which I'm so excited about. Um, it's going to be in school libraries very soon, so I'm so excited about all the opportunities that are going to, that are going to come. This coronavirus has got to go and get out the way, honey, but I have a lot of speaking engagements um, lined up. Um, a few of them got canceled because I had four of them for the month of April um, already planned, but they got canceled because of coronavirus. But I will be having a lot more speaking engagements coming up. Um, which is really good. So, yeah. So, I'm going to give you guys a little bit backstory about my book and everything that it, that it means and why I wrote the book. So, if you guys don't really know, here's a little quick synopsis. So, in 27th in October, in October 12, 2017, I had a house fire. And my house fire took the lives of my two daughters, um, Jada and Chimera. And um, we we're a really close-knit family. I taught them a lot. My oldest daughter was special needs, and her her diagnosis was called Creutzfeldt syndrome. I have a video that I'll put in the cards up here about what Creutzfeldt is and how she has been living with Creutzfeldt um, when she was alive. And then my baby was five at the time. She was a cheerleader and she was such a big help in everything. Um, this book right here tells our life story. It tells our life story in the front part or part one. And then in the middle of the book, there is a picture gallery. 
the part two is um, how to get closer to God, like even when the midst of trials and going through things, um, everyone goes through something. So how to get closer to God. It also explains if you are grieving, it's okay to grieve. It's okay to cry. It's okay to get things out. Um, don't hold things in. It lets you know that. There's also a part in here, part two, that I ex describe. Um, if you're not grieving but someone else really close to you is, how to help them grieve and how to help them through their situation or trial. Um, this book is very inspirational and I'm so glad I wrote it. I'm just, I love it. But um, yeah. So I am going to <laughs> read the little, um, what I put on the back um, so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be explaining how to do all of this in my book series. So make sure you check that out and stay tuned. Please click the subscribe button for sure so that you can get your own copy and you can stay up to date. And if you want to write your own book, make sure you watch my series so that you'll know how to do it. Because there's a lot of things and it's definitely a learning curve when you're doing self-publishing. Um, so yeah. But anyway, um, this is my little synopsis or my book blurb. It's says, Desiree J. Fillmore was determined not to become a statistic as a teenage mother. Giving birth to her first daughter at 16 years old, little Jada was soon diagnosed with Credo Shaw Syndrome. Facing the new challenge, she was determined to graduate high school and matriculate college. Um, during her college studies, she became pregnant with her second daughter, Chimera. She instilled in her children to love and devote themselves to each other and God. Desiree felt her life was finally coming together until one tragic October night in 2017. The, the worst catastrophe any mother could endure occurred when her home became engulfed in flames while her children slept. Trying frantically to rescue her trapped children, she was unable to reach them. Left with only her devastating grief and post-traumatic stress, her faith led her to discover signs and treasures from God to support her new journey as a bereaved mother. She was comforted in the knowledge of knowing that her children's spirits were still with her. She now has a new purpose to live for, no longer frozen in the midst of, fiery, of a fiery memory. She is determined to fulfill her true purpose and destiny. So that is my book blurb. I put the girls on the back of the book. And yes, again, I just, I designed my actual book. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. I hope you guys pick it up. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about, um, really quick about no, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to do that in another video. So stay tuned for my proof copy book, um, book reviews. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.